My name is Alan Arayek, and I prevent dementia. Dementia is preventable. Alzheimer's disease is preventable. You are awesome for watching this informational video series, as now you are going to be making your first steps towards the prevention of your dementia. On the prevention of dementia, you may say, not possible. And I'll ask you, why would you think that? You may think they would have already figured out how to do it. And I'll ask you, why would you believe that that is possible? This is the first of a series of videos produced at the Dementia Prevention Center. Today, with this introduction, we are going to introduce to you new concepts. Briefly describe those concepts. We will set the pace for the rest of these informational videos and we will get you on your way to the prevention of dementia. You will be working with a highly advanced set of information that you have not yet encountered. Some of what I'm going to be telling you is going to directly conflict with what you already know and what you have read and what others have told you. Some of what I'm going to be telling you works hand in hand with what others have told you and what you have read. And yet other parts of the information I will be providing for you have been well proven and established in the medical literature. First, shop safety. I'm a doctor, I'm not your doctor. You need to get your healthcare advice from your healthcare team. I'm here to provide you with medical information and hopefully this medical information will stimulate for you conversations with your healthcare team. In general, once a question is asked, it results in better care of the patient. Your healthcare team will know that you are a well-informed individual and generally, this will help in your prevention of dementia. Next, you need to understand the engine that drives this process, the basic philosophy. The consequences of some medical conditions are so extreme that they need to be taken very seriously, even if there's only a small chance that they could exist. Mix this with the fact that you are a unique individual and you will immediately be taking your first step towards the prevention of dementia. Current healthcare uses algorithms and population patterns over scientific information and common sense. They apply guidelines that cover the masses. Medical prevention, I wrote an entire book on this subject, applies the science of medicine to the unique motivated individual. I wrote a scientific paper that was published in May of 2012. It was called The Micron Stroke Hypothesis of Alzheimer's Disease and Dementia. In this paper, I coined a new medical term called Micron Stroke. Work that I did in the scientific paper took years of research and over a decade of in the trenches clinical evaluations. During those years, we were able to prevent dementia in many people. We were able to reverse dementia in few people. Now, you have to understand the reversal of dementia is very difficult to clinically define, but these patients had professional neuropsychiatric scores that were completed and then years later, when retested, improved on their scores. These can best be thought of right now as unique cases, but I know that the pattern is there and as you go through this video series, it will make sense to you also. Doing nothing at all to prevent dementia treating the symptoms is definitely going to end with dementia. But the minute that someone is able to identify the causes of what's happening that's causing the brain damage, then they are able to put the brakes on it and let the body heal. There is a general healing process in the brain and if you give it the opportunity, you might discover you are also now one of these people that their dementia improved. We also have many who never got any worse. We initiated a method and a treatment of these people, which is just good attention to the details, skin knuckles, dirt under the fingernails, and guess what happens? They never got any worse. Some of them for over a decade. They are living with their families. They are in the community. They're able to live with the ones that they love. Those are not rare results. That is the bare minimum that I would expect. Much of the information that I'm going to be discussing with you in this video series, a new way of looking at scientific or medical information. We'll go through the concepts and this is going to be able to get you one step closer to your prevention of dementia. You are awesome for watching this video series as you're taking the very first steps towards the prevention of your dementia. My name is Alan Arayek and I prevent dementia.